I'm going to get up in here and in the garden. And I'm going to start with the oregano again. It's looking a lot better of late just because the weather has gotten better. Um, temperatures are really quite nice. Uh, 70s and 80s for most of the highs. And uh, lows have been in the 50s and 60s, so not too, too bad. Over here, the onion. Obviously going straight to seed. And uh, I need to pull it, do something with it, anything. But I don't, and I probably won't. Down here, the bulbs are looking very good. Not as many of them coming up as I would have hoped, but still more than I really was expecting. I think there's one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think I see a sixth one maybe, but it's kind of hard to tell from the single. The strawberry pot is, well, there's still some life in some of those leaves, but I think it's toast. Just saying. So we're going to wait, like I said last time, uh, we're going to wait for the other one to start throwing runners and we'll build into it. Down here, yeah, the carrots look like they're starting to grow, which is good. The, what I'm assuming are daikon have thrown shoots and they've just gone straight to bolting. So, whatever. This asparagus is doing quite nicely. Uh, these two asparaguses, anyways. I really haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. I might just leave them where they sit. Up here, basil is gone. It's dead. There's nothing left of it. So, whatever. Over on this side, uh, I've got a couple of the things coming up. But, again, those bulbs were ancient, so I'm not too surprised if not nothing comes up over there at all. And the strawberries themselves still look pretty decent. It's getting to the point where I'm going to have to start watering them, though. Over here, this mesalin mix, nothing got big, but we do have some bolters, so whatever. The safflower, we're down to two survivors. The rest of them either froze or got predated somehow, but eh, they were free seeds. This strawberry is looking pretty good. It's getting bushy and he thick and heavy, so we'll see what we can get out of it. The cilantro aren't looking very happy at all, but I think with the improved weather, they're going to start bouncing back. These carrots, I will probably have to actually move in the not-too-distant future to someplace a little bit more protected. Uh, I'm thinking... Honestly, that corner right there, where all the spider wart is right now. So, yeah, just because that gets actually shaded through, it get, doesn't get full shade, but it gets partial shade throughout most of the day. My spider warts, my wild spider warts, are all over the place and looking brilliant. The flowers in this bed here, or this section here, it, don't touch that, buddy, are doing okay. And you can see the spider warts just above them, or just behind them. The yard itself is um, completely overgrown. You can see the pallet there is just overgrown. Hey. All right, over here, what I thought were beets weren't. They were instead radishes. And good sized radishes. Give it a three count here. One, two, three, and picture. And for context, that pepper mill is a pretty standard size. It's about a two inch diameter. The larger of those two radishes, bigger than my fist. Okay. Over here, I've cut this back again. I should just pull it. I really should. I just haven't gotten around to it. These are probably beets. All things considered. But if they are, then they're growing. If they aren't, then they're growing. 
more spider warts all around. I love them. They die off way too early, but they're really pretty when they are up back here. We got the sticky weed, whatever it is, sticks to socks and pants and everything else really easily. And this blueberry is well and truly dead. It's toasted. It got frozen. So, but in contrast, this blueberry right here, actually coming back slowly, very, very weakly, but it is coming back. So there's hope. I also need to mow this back area back here. I gotta be careful when I do so, cause there's the blackberry. And that looks like a flower pod. Right there. And a couple more there and there. I don't think I'll actually harvest anything off of it this year. Uh, I might nip the buds just to give it more energy into the plant itself so it grows a little bit bigger and uh, more thoroughly. The asparaguses on the other side of the fence are all looking very healthy. Well, reasonably healthy for an asparagus that's only a year old. So, other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. The, uh, I did do, try to do an experiment with some uh, blue bonnets and some Indian paintbrush and some other flowers around the yard. And I've not gotten any of those to come up at all. It's annoying. I've got one more thing I'm going to try. It's a little bit late to get any good flowers. I've got that spot right over there. But I tried it in and I got nothing. Nothing came up at all. So I'm going to try soaking the seeds. And I've got a, uh, a pot. That isn't doing much right now. So... Once I've got the seeds soaked over the rest of the course, of the, I started soaking them this morning. Once I've got them soaked for the entire day, I'll just pop them into that pot. And if they come up, they come up. If they don't, well, I'll get my pot back in a couple of weeks. Talk to y'all later.